Hello everyone, thanks for coming to my channel. For all those that have subscribed, thank you very much. We do appreciate you. For those that are yet to do that, please do subscribe, press the notification bell so you can get all our latest news. Thank you. Kabaka Yell, the best is yet to come, referring to Adam's Oshomoles eyes on the presidential throne. Edo State Governor, Mr. Obaseki's action has evolved in Kabaka's integrity due to the demolition of his building in recent happenings in Edo State between the Obaseki and the tax collector chairman, which has therefore evoked some unclear facts and strengthened a bit of some unclear signals about Mr. President's relationship with the former governor of Edo State, Adams Oshomole. In an ongoing ravel in Edo State about the demolition, Kabaka's building, which was situated on government property, has opened up a lot of drama and saga in Edo State. In an unclear statement made by Kabaka after he pleaded to the governor before the demolition, and despite that, Mr. Obaseki still has to demolish the building. Kabaka then has to inform Obaseki that history will repeat itself, that if, if Obaseki is just wasting his time providing to the people of Edo State about justice, and he thus said, this is a parable that the best is yet to come, that the former governor of Edo State, Adam Soshomole, who initially empowered him, will actually and optimistically become the president soon enough. Then history will repeat itself. <laughs> Mr. Kabaka, wow. So, um, people, this is the news reaching us this morning. Um, it's so funny. Mr. Kabaka, um, he's the um, chairman of the task, task collector in Edo State. He's um, talking to uh, the, the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki that um, history would repeat itself because why was this why why is this um, happening because um, this man Obaseki is trying to make Edo State one of the best states in Nigeria uh, people some time ago he said people that has built on government property government land those houses were going to be demolished and they were marked to be demolished and unfortunately, Kabaka's um, house fell into one of those that have been built on government um, property, which ought not to be. And this man rained thunder and brimstone during that saga that um, his house shouldn't be demolished and everything. But Mr. Obaseki, being who he is, as we know him now, he still went ahead and the house was demolished. You know, and that has been the row. You know about um, Kabaka saying all sort of things. Um, again, we shouldn't forget that Kabaka was empowered by Oshomole, and so he's re he's saying that um, uh, Oshomole, it's um, when Oshomole becomes the president of Nigeria, that history is going to repeat itself. So what he's trying to say is that he was going to build again in government property. That's that's the clear insinuation of what he's saying, and nobody can do anything. But I want to I want to tell people that nobody's against is above the law. If he has built on government property, if someone somewhere has um, um, agreed for him to build on government property, uh, that is not right. When, the, when true leadership comes, you see, that will go into the drain. And that is what has happened to um, Kabaka. For goodness sake, Kabaka is... Uh, what degree does this man have to, be, to even be the, 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 the task collector chairman? You see, so this is the problem we have in Nigeria. When Adam Suchomile was trying to make Benin what, what it is today, when he, was, when he demolished most of the Bobizwa um, garage and everything around New Benin, New Benin Road and everything, demolished a lot of places, nobody, people didn't say anything. People lamented, although they cried, but nobody, nobody's voice was heard in, in the social media. Now, Kabaka, because he feels that Oshomole is the APC chair, chairman and has empowered him, he's coming out to say nonsense about um, demolishing the, the property. I, I saw the, the saga and I saw everything when his house was, was, was marked up because that was even close to a primary school. It was built, he built into a government land and that was a primary school close to his house. He built into there and that house has to be demolished because that's, that's, that's a road that he built on. This man is doing all his best. He's, doing, he's making all efforts to see that um, um, Benin 
is 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 one of the best states in Nigeria, and I applaud what um, 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 Governor Oshomole, um, Governor Baseki is doing at the minute. He's trying to make Benin a state of the art place where you go and be comfortable, and you know, um, infrastructure and everything is 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 is, is state of the art there. But this use these touts will not allow this man do what he wants to do because again because um, our, our 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 elections in Nigeria have, have been powered by the not only by the youth of people, but, but by the touts. So, uh, remember some time ago, I couldn't even vote because the touts were too much. I mean, if you vote wrong to, to, uh, for the person that they don't want, you, 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 they, they can shoot you. Yeah, you can die because they, they all have guns in, the, in, the, in, 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 in our various uh, ballot zone. So, you see, Kabaka, who are you? To, to say that history would repeat itself. And again, it even tells us about the relationship between President Muhammadu Buhari and Oshomole. But anyway, again, let us have good, good governance in Nigeria, where one man, one vote, and one man, one vote counts. If Oshomole is going to be the president of Nigeria, fair enough, but it should be under scrutiny, under the fact that Nigerians voted for him to go there. If that is the case, fine. Then, if all if all Nigerians accept you, it's fine. One thing he said, like the news I I I, I brought to you yesterday, um, Adam Sushomala said, if you conduct an election, um, uh, a primaries in your um, a party, and you win, it therefore means that you are forty nine percent there, and also it means that the people of your party accept you. If the people of Nigeria accept Oshomole as the president of Nigeria, that is fair enough. Then we, we are happy to go for it. But if not, they shouldn't um, they, they, they shouldn't do all the all the malpractices and all the all the um, um, stealing of ballots and all that in Nigeria. They, it, we, we should grow more than those levels where um, um, elections are based on um, 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 who, 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 who incumbent, who, who has the more power. Because what we have seen in recent years is the incumbent government always puts the next person, the next government that he thinks that would adhere to his policies and rules and keep things under, under the cupboard. That's what we see in Nigeria. But we need to go past the, the, the level where these sort of things happen. Look at the United States. See how President Trump um, um, went into um, power. You see, look at the United Kingdom. Look at people that goes into power. It's not about the incumbent. It's about one man, one vote. Let, let's count our vote. Who wins? Get in there. So, my people, this is what this man, this um, Kabaka, um, the tax force um, chairman, probably staying in all the parks, has his boys around the parks in uh, those days. And sometimes these guys, they feel that they rule the states, you know. They govern the states. What what they want is what counts. Not really. That's not how it how it should be. The government has has demolished that property. He's 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 put his plans in place. You follow the plans. You are just a task um, a chairman in in, in 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 the in the in the state. You we, you guys ought to be having a stakeholders meeting because I mean obviously you are someone that that is important in the in the state as well. You have a stakeholders meeting. On things, on the policies, on what um, 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 Mr. Obaseki is about to do, and if you if if you had been transparent, you would see that I mean, what he has done is not the wrong thing. You have built some government land that has to be demolished. You see, so that's why at every point in time, when you're doing something, you need to do what is right because when the truth comes, that becomes a lie. The lie comes out pure, and you can see that it's a lie. That's what has happened to Mr. Kabaka. And I saw all the rants. He's been ranting everywhere. Even before the demolition, he was been ranting. Oh, you can't demolish this, that, that, that. Um, the government is uh, Obasik is against him because um, this, that, that. He mobilized this and that. No, not really. Look at the land you've built on government property. That's that's what counts. It ought to go. It's not just only your house that was demolished. A lot of people's houses were demolished as well. Nice houses. We saw them on TV. So, once again, Mr. Kabaka, you have to. Um, I mean, in Nigeria, you can see anything. It doesn't matter. But I mean, with 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 with, with a person like you, you have to be careful on, uh, about what you say. You know, you have to be careful, uh, my people. So that's the news reaching us. We want to hear your comments. We want to hear your comments. Uh, for those that subscribe to us, thank you very much. We do appreciate. 
For those that haven't subscribed, please do subscribe so you get this latest news as they come to us. Until we meet again, bye.